You have been supportive of Amazon coming to Arlington. Amazon currently came under fire for its employees listening to private conversations through Echo Dots, providing the software and technical assistance necessary to ICE to separate children from their families and design facial recognition software for DHS that allows the government to target and single out immigrants and people of color. In light of these practices, do you support a plan that will result in Arlington taxpayers and tax dollars subsidizing Amazon's move? Wonderful question. First of all, the problem there is data privacy. We have a lack of leadership on data privacy, period. No one is talking about it. We don't have anyone that understands data privacy. And so not only does the state of Virginia not understand the data that is collected, where it's stored, where it's going, how long it's staying there, where it's going when it's done, we don't have any rules and regulations about that. And that's a huge federal issue, but there's a lot that we can do to tackle that at the state level. And I hope to be a leader on data privacy because it, I'm terrified, and this has nothing to do with the Amazon. I mean, do they exhibit those practices? Yes. Do every single major internet company in the entire country do the same thing? Yes. And we need to tackle all of those issues. Is Amazon good for the community on net benefit? Yes, I do believe that, because if you've driven through Crystal City, you knew that that needed a revitalization. We need that tax revenue. And I'm so proud of the jobs that it will create and the tax revenue, not only to the state, but also to the county, and are the progressive values that we'll be able to put forward and invest in because of that. Thank you. Great, thank you. Uh, Senator Favola, we'll start this question with you. What is your understanding of the policy elements contained within the Virginia Green New, Green New Deal? Do you support the Virginia Green New Deal? Why or why not? And um, I will allow you guys to go a little bit further than just the Green New Deal and talk about environmental pieces, given that you've both done a lot on that as well. Okay. Um, well, the Green New Deal is a plan, and it's got, uh, I think, a great framework for how to achieve some significant changes in the way we're dealing with our, our climate and the way we're dealing with um, green, greenhouse gas emissions. I expect the green plan to evolve over time. One of the challenging parts is how we use market rate credits to really achieve sort of a greenhouse a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. I'm very interested in that. I think it's probably more of a federal issue than a state issue, but I am encouraging the governor and I'm encouraging lawmakers in Virginia to allow Virginia to participate in the Mid-Atlantic Greenhouse Gas Initiative Emissions Program, the reduction in greenhouse gas initiatives. So yes, there's plenty to do and I think we need to keep working on that. Great, thank you. Ms. Merlene, you have one minute. Um, and I can read the question again. What is your understanding of the policy elements contained in the Virginia Green New Deal? Do you support the Virginia Green New Deal? Why or why not? What other environmental issues would you prioritize? Thank you for the question. I am so proud to have led on this issue and making sure that I was the first to announce my support of the Green New Deal. Um, what that means to a lot of different people means different things. But what's important to me is that we're creating jobs and creating a green economy because the only way to create buy-in for this sort of a thing is to make sure that everyone is benefiting. And so I've been talking to a lot of environmental groups and there's a lot of exciting ideas on the table. Right now, when you recycle something in Northern Virginia, chances are it's not actually getting recycled. It's going to the trash. We don't have the receptacles to actually be able to accept them and then resell them. And so there are new technologies out there, for example, that would take things like your glass that has been crushed in the process of recycling and transform that into a road. And there's nothing more expensive than laying down a road. And so if you're able to repurpose things like recyclable goods and put that towards our transportation system, which is exorbitantly expensive, I think that's a win-win. That's the essence of the Green New Deal, which I strongly support. Great. Thank you. Thank you.